name is Bob Murdoch. I'm here at Equiparts in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I wanted to show you a little bit about the Murdoch Maintenance Advantage water cooler and how to service it. Now, in the old days, the water coolers were very difficult to service because you had to remove everything to get down to turn the stopcock off, to turn the water off, so you could work on the valves that operate the push button bubbler and whatnot. And so we decided to make it a little bit easier for you, and we call this a Murdoch Maintenance Advantage water cooler. Now, a couple of things that we've done differently. We only have one button out front, it's in a mechanical push button. So instead of having multiple buttons to fool around with, you only have one area to service. And this water cooler, if you happen to lose power, you can still get a drink of water because this is a mechanical button. It's not controlled by electrical sol solenoids. And we also offer a very flexible rubber bubbler, antimicrobial, of course, and so is the push button. Now, in the old days, you had to disassemble everything, take all the screws off, take the deck off, and then reach down in there and turn the stopcock off. That took a long time to do. It took a lot more time than you really needed to do to service the water cooler. So what we've done is make it a little bit simpler. So let's show you how we're going to do this. Roll up my sleeves here a little bit. And every water cooler that we ship out, every Murdoch Maintenance Advantage water cooler, has this handy dandy little tool. It's a very simple thing. You don't require any screw drivers or any nuts or bolts drivers or anything else. This is all you really need. And to service this unit, directly underneath the apron, which is always all metal, is a opening that you simply reach under and insert the key. As you insert the key, removable strainer drops out. And as you remove the strainer, the water pressure shuts off to the bubbler. Okay, so now you've effectively shut the water off to the bubbler so that there's nothing. You take the same key, insert, push down, turn a quarter of a turn, and pop the button right off. Now the best news is, You've got the strainer, which is the incoming water pressure will come right to the strainer. So you can look in there and make sure there's not any debris in there. If there's any debris in there, I encourage you to go over to the sink, wash it out, clean it out, because this is what capture any, and it captures any of the water that's coming through to the bubbler, to the push button, and it captures any debris. So you take that same key or a spanner wrench, insert it, and as you spin the retaining ring out, of course it's very noisy this morning, as you take this out, then, of course, the operating cartridge pulls right out. Now, this is a cartridge Equiparts has in stock. They've always got them here sitting on the shelf. It's a very common item, but we use a very thick washer so that it takes up the space. It has a higher nitrile content, and, of course, then, you get your new cartridge and insert it. Now, it only goes in one way. There's an offset, as you can see here, on the cartridge itself. There's an offset for the inlet and outlet on the cartridge, and as you insert the cartridge, you simply let it drop down into place. Then you take the retaining ring, put it back in place, and tighten everything down. And when you tighten everything down, it's a very simple operation to snug down the cartridge. And you'll hear it seat. Then you take the strainer and insert it back in. When you insert it back in and tighten it down. Now the water pressure comes back on. As the water pressure comes back on, you simply take a screwdriver, if you don't have your screwdriver handy, use your fingernail, and it's the old righty tighty lefty loosey. If you screw it in, the water stream will come higher. If you screw it out, the water stream will drop. Now remember, for ADA purposes, the ADA stream has to be within three inches of the rim of the bowl, and it has to be at least four inches high. So adjust it accordingly. And then all you do is take your handy dandy little push button, put it back in place, and snap, you're ready to go. Now, if you've forgotten to adjust it, there's a hole here for a small screwdriver. You can still adjust the flow by pushing in the button and adjusting the flow accordingly. Again, remembering that it's a four inch high stream, three inches from the rim of the bowl. And again, this little tool is all you need, and we supply one with every new water cooler. Every Murdoch Maintenance Advantage cooler is done this way, whether it's a drinking fountain or a water cooler. Thank you very much. Don't forget about Equiparts, they've got everything in stock. Thank you.